Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, what we are lacking now is this multiple choice question. Otherwise, the others are pretty much ready to go. So, on this one, let's add the word multiple to the link here so that uh, it knows to change to a multiple question version of this. So let me just close what I have here, close all files for now. We just want to deal with one of these views, which is the add question ink. Alrighty then. So at the end here, multiple choice quest type will be multiple choice if, let's see here, what are we using here? Oh, this is for this, but we want to call this multiple, yes? So before we go here, I want to, let's go to the test tab view incorporated. Uh, this is where we have the, these options here, the drop down menu for which question we want to create. Now this is the multiple question one. So right at the end here, I want to add a question mark just like this put it there and let's change this to multiple shall we multiple mm -hmm. once we are done with that it means now down here instead of having this um, because if it's objective we have a space to put an answer but if it's a multiple choice question, we don't need this at all. So I'm going to duplicate this part. And here I will put, um, actually, just to be less complex, let's just duplicate this like so, so that they're just separate. And then this one will be multiple. Uh -huh. So right in here is where we want to add um our new content yes yes so let's go to bootstrap here and now there's a limited amount of uh, stuff we can add here because we are not trying to dwell on css so i don't know what you can use here but i like this one inside card and if you scroll down this list groups and then finally there's this one which has a card title as well so you can also add a footer there but i think that's this one with a header is all good so let me copy that one and let me exchange what's here for this so let's do this very good now we can go back here and let's add a multiple choice question so click click a click mm -hmm. and then finally we are down here now what I want to do is let me reduce the width to just let it go uh, as it pleases so I'll put a break tag over here and then this one I will just say um, multiple choice answers Okay, so these will be the multiple choice answers. And they are down here. So I don't know, maybe let's see if I say active here, whether it will change to the blue. No, doesn't seem like it will change unless maybe I say uh, BG primary, something like this. Let's see. Yeah, that actually does work. Let me see if the other colors are better. So let's see, warning. Okay, I just wanted it to be a little bit different than everything else. So multiple choice answers here. Or maybe we can say, um, what other colors are there? The secondary, but uh, text white, just so we can whiten the text instead of the dark version we have here okay so multiple choice answers down here mm -hmm. so it's entirely up to you what you want to do here 
we can change it to primary or maybe secondary let's try that sorry about the, this uh, movement here i didn't check this to see what looks better beforehand but let me keep it on this one so what i want here is to have something where we have options uh, and then we can add more options down here as we go all right so um another thing we could do is let me explain a little bit here before we go further so the thing we want here is to have uh, a letter here for example let's say letter a right so there's a and then we have the answer just like those options you have on a multiple choice and then we'll have a checkbox at the end here where we tick to say this is the correct answer or this one or this one so it will be a radio box rather and uh, yeah that's what it's going to look like so all we need here is a way to to add uh, but we should also be able to type in here that's another issue here so it should look something uh, a little like this so let me move this a bit and this is going to be something like a and then we add an input here and then of type uh, text of course and then a class of form control and then we'll have a name here now that name will be something like but wait a minute before I do that. Let me see how that works. Okay, so this one is A, and then we have our option here. And then whether it's the correct answer or not will be determined by, let's add another input here. Uh, this is type radio. And then we'll say correct answer like that let's see how that will look like okay so a the question itself type the uh, type your answer here let's put a case holder and say uh, type your answer here the name here will be um these are um, choices right because it's multiple choice so I'm going to say choice, we just call them choices, choice um, answer. Now, since these will be many, um, the reason I've put answer at the end is because there's going to be choice correct. Oh, wait a minute. Let me name this one as correct answer. Okay like so now because we can only select one of these at a time so it can be separate by itself but these inputs will be many as we add and as we add we will need to have a naming convention that will increment by one because if i just leave it like choice here or choice answer then once i add a second one here because we want to allow the teacher to add as many choices as possible so if I add another one, then the name will be the same and it will be treated as just one input. The others will be ignored. So we need to be able to increment by a number here. So correct answer is by itself. Now this one is choice answer. This one is choice letter right here. Okay. So there will be choice letter and then choice answer or maybe instead of even adding choice letter here we can just use uh, the process of counting to determine how many of them were there so maybe instead of um, we'll just say choice one like so so let's come back here and refresh we will change as things go so type your answer here then you tick if this is the correct answer so the same thing will repeat over and over. So which means, for example, here, we will have another one that's B. And this one will have a B, 
like so. And then you can uh, type. So there's A, there's B, and then there's probably C. So if you click on one of these, only one of them can be active. So as you can see, uh, this can be the correct answer on that one because only one of them can be. And then we need a button right over here, which is inside. Um, let me remove this styling here so we don't need it. So inside, uh, which is here, let me add a button. Now, since we are inside a, um, a form, let me tell it that don't use this as a submit button by just saying button there. And then I'll say add, add choice like this. Then let's put the I class uh, FA FA plus. Okay, cool. And this is a button, so let's give it some classes uh, button and button primary and button small that should do and also i need it to float and all right then let's see how that works and there we go so we have that choice add choice now the blue isn't really blending well with our situation so maybe let's use warning and text white in there so let's refresh uh, I don't really know if that's working either, but uh, you can spend as much time as you want here. So actually, let me remove the text white. I think it's more clear like this. So spend as much as time as much time as you need. But the point here is that I want to be able to say add choice, and then we have one more segment down here. So this is where our JavaScript will come in handy to create uh, inputs in real time. Okay, so let's refresh that and there we go. So multiple choice answers. So we're going to leave these two as they are like this because we need at least a minimum of two uh, questions here, two answers, but then the teacher can add some more if they want. So it's up to you. You can add one, two or three I think um, that's reasonable and you can add more. So let's see how we can activate the system for adding more here.